going on folks I want to show you something you can do just in case you was to have one of these older type stereos like this or right, even if you just have a stereo that happens to be like a CD player but it doesn't have like a AUX cord hole in it so you could put an AUX cord to it as well as if you don't have like Bluetooth for you want to actually play your phone or through your stereo pretty much if you want your say your music or iHeartRadio or YouTube whatever you happen to be playing to play through your radio but you have this old stereo like this what you can do what you can do pretty much to solve this problem is which is what I went through when I was trying to find out how to use say this AUX button right here which actually does not have an actual hole in it or rather a port for me to actually plug in the cord to it but what you can buy is it's called a FM transmitter which is just right here pretty much all you have to do is you buy this it's amazing pretty much you will buy this you stick it inside of your cigarette lighter you can now Bluetooth this, Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth this to your cell phone and be able to play your music directly through your stereo. I'm going to show you how it works. This one basically I got right here costs only around $24, $25 for this. I mean it completely works. The sound sounds very well. It's actually one of the best purchases I bought in a long time that saved me money from say having to purchase a new stereo to use my phone. So what you do is you would take this right here, which is a transmitter. You go down here to your cigarette lighter. Hold on. Let me go to where my you plug it basically into your cigarette lighter opening. When I plug it in, you'll see some numbers pop up. Okay. You see right there where it says that. You see it says 88.7. Now all I have to pretty much do is, is there's a button on the side of it I can press if I want to select a channel. So all you have to do is plug this into your vehicle. It'll pop on. Then you hit, there's a button. I'll show you on the side of it. Right on this side it says channel. You hit that button. When you hit that, now you'll be able to pretty much switch the channel on here. So I plugged it in. I'm going to hit that button on the side of it. Let me turn it so I can get to it a little easier. Yeah, okay, I plugged it in. Now I'm hitting the button. So when I hit that button, now I could turn this dial. And this dial is going to allow me to basically pick a channel. And what I'm doing is, I'm going to have this channel on 88.7 I'm just picking a channel. Pretty much what you want to do is basically pick a channel that your local radio station doesn't use. You want to have something that's basically a blank channel. When you go to it, there's nothing been playing. Once you pick any channel you want. Once you've done that, now what you want to do is come up to your stereo and put that on the exact same channel. Like see right here, it says 88.7. That's all you have to do. Once you have your stereo on the same channel, up here as if you have your um, FM transmitter pretty much now all you have to do you can take your phone hold on I'm gonna take my phone now what I'm gonna do is is turn on my Bluetooth and when I turn the Bluetooth on what's gonna happen is it's gonna connect to the the FM transmitter I see it now on my phone. I'm connecting it. Now it's connected. So now all I all I have to do, I can go to whatever. I can go to like a YouTube and I can play it. You're gonna hear it. See? Now I'm playing through my phone on I'm to to show you how you would my radio. In air filter. Yeah, pretty much is what I'm doing now. So all I had to do pretty much was plug this the X the, the FM transmitter pretty much into my cigarette lighter I chose a channel by pressing the side button and pick the channel then once I did that I go up top to my stereo I put it on the exact same channel up here and then I connected my phone through Bluetooth to the XM transmitter and once you do that now you'll be able to play 
whatever you have on your phone through your stereo speakers. As well as if somebody calls you, it'll interrupt your music and allow you to talk through your speakers as well. But I would recommend if you want to do this, which is a great thing to do, I will have some type of a preset list. You don't want to be trying to drive around and constantly changing your music through picking your phone up. So I would say if you like to do YouTube, you know, make you a playlist, a couple of different playlists. That way when you get in your vehicle, you can connect it to your, your FM transmitter and just let it play without actually having to keep picking up your phone, changing the music. Or if you do something like Pandora or um, um, our heart radio or something like that and that's great which well, no matter what you do you just don't want to constantly be picking up your phone trying to change to different songs now but this is a great way to deal with the problem of say having an older stereo that doesn't have Bluetooth capability or doesn't have a AUX port on it and a lot of these transmitters you can buy don't have different stuff I mean the price can write this one right here has two USB ports pretty much so if I want to charge my phone I can charge my phone through here some of them I have a AUX hole on it to where you can plug an AUX cord inside of it and, and some of them even have like a big screen so you can see like a digital screen what's basically um, been done using this FM transmitter but once again I want to take this time to show you all this neat device right here which would allow you to pretty much connect your phone now to your existing stereo without hooking up nothing or doing no type of rewiring anything like that or changing your stereo out alright folks once again this is how you would use an XM transmitter and I also want to say real quick that it really works well the quality of it is very well you can't tell the difference between using this as well as using a stereo that may have a Bluetooth capability already built into it. Alright folks, please check out our other helpful videos and please subscribe. Thanks.